Kui, Robert C. Kemp, okay, Stephen Covey, Michael Hammer, okay, Koro Ishikawa, Jenny Chitaguchi, Armin Fagenbaum, Michael Hammer, okay, right. I think when we discussed um, earlier, we didn't discuss about Robert C. Kemp and um, Armin Fagenbaum. I don't know why you guys forget about him, these two gurus. Okay, can you tell me, what does Armin Fagenbaum famous for? We miss these two um, gurus. Anybody? He did quite a lot of uh, contribution to uh, quality. Someone, Armand Fajanbaum. Who wrote it just now? Hey, who wrote about Armand Fajanbaum? When I look uh, a reverse, I say, oh, you missed this person. Right? Tong Shi, you wrote Armand Fajanbaum. What is his contribution? Shi? Chi, are you here? Madam? Yes? Ah, it emphasizes the organizational uh, involvement in the improving quality. Okay. Yes, he has a lot of... He's actually he's really famous on... Uh, the total quality control. Okay, if you read up, right? Uh, he's famous for that. And how about uh, Robert C. Kemp? None of you talk about Robert C. Kemp. What is he famous for? Anybody? Robert C. Kemp. His contribution is a lot. Okay? Although maybe not as uh, as famous as the others, but he has one contribution that is being used till now. What is that? Anybody? Yes. Okay, somebody wrote, who's that? Benchmarking. He's famous for benchmarking. It's a way where companies share information to improve. Okay, we're going to learn in details more about benchmarking later. Okay, good. So, so for today's topic, we're going to... We have known about the quality gurus. So now we're going to look at strategy, quality and strategy, right? Okay, let me share my slides. Okay. Okay. It's strategic quality planning, All right? Hold on. Let me close all this first. Okay. Um. Okay, one question, okay? What is strategy? Can you tell me what is strategy? Come on. 
Come on, think. What is strategy? Have you read? Have you looked at the... Ah, first things first. Do you manage to get the book? Did any of you manage to get the book? If you do, can you please share with your friends? So that is easier. Especially when it comes to the calculation, it's easier because to go uh, to get examples or to show it from the book. So if anybody has gotten the book, it's good that you, you can share. Okay, Balkis, Balkis has got the book. That's good, right? Yeah, she got an ebook. So, Balkis, can you share it with your friends? For those who have not uh, gotten the book, can you share it on WhatsApp or you know? Okay, okay, she will share the link later, right? Okay, now back to business. What is strategy? Anybody wants to answer? You can unmute if you want to answer. You can unmute. A plan for a long term. Yes, long term. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, some say method to achieve goal. Okay, good. Why is it important? Why is strategy important in quality? Okay, some of you say a plan to action designed to achieve long term. Okay, what is why is it important? Ani Zulaika, why is it important? Anybody? Come on. Why is it important? Road to success, right? Because it drives the business decision. Okay. To where to go, right? See your action plan. Okay. So, in, um, quality is actually strategic. Only we couldn't see. So, like, you see some companies, they... Um, they, uh, what they call, they compete on strategy, right? So, strategy is a way, like, you know, to see before you do any, implement any strategy, you have to see what is your competitive advantage. Okay? What is your competitive advantage? Anybody knows what is competitive advantage? <laughs> competitive advantage. Okay, if you're down, what is competitive advantage? I think uh, okay. a condition that put uh, the company favorable. Okay, it's like something that is a plus to you, right? How about Nur Izrin? What 
okay, I, I, I'm asking you yourself, what is your competitive advantage? Nur Ezrin, what is your competitive advantage? Say, someone you say competitive advantage is an attribute that enables a company to outperform its competitors. It's true. Can any of you tell me what is your competitive advantage? Come on, you should be confident enough to say what is your competitive advantage? Education level, some of you say education level. Okay. Okay. Some of you say leadership. Right? So I want you to, this is just for you, for your exercise. You list down for yourself what is your competitive advantage. Okay. Because this is something that you have, right? That you think that something that you have, which is uh, give you a plus, right? Better than uh, your friends. Or let, let's say, okay, so, uh, if, if, if I can give you a scenario, it's difficult for you to, to, uh, to uh, say what is your competitive advantage. Let's say you are going for an interview. Right? So I'm asking you, what, what can you contribute to the company? Okay, that is a very uh, common question. Okay? That is a very common question when you go for interview. I will ask you, so it's something that you should keep in mind. What can you contribute? Okay, if I take... If I, if I accept you as as um, as uh, an employee in my company, what is your uh, what can you contribute? That means what can you give? What is your competitive advantage? Okay. okay skill, somebody says skills that I have. Some say work experience. Okay, that's good. Let's see if you are looking for a job in marketing or sales. It means if you have sales experience, there's a plus. Okay? So like, you know, um, I don't know whether all of you, any of you have uh, interviewed for the, what, Gamma, Sigma, Sigma, something like that, right? They will ask you. Okay, because I, I, I've interviewed students, they, they have, but they're very confident. Okay, I can play musical instruments. I can sing, right? What, what, whatever advantage that you have, oh, I'm a good diver. See, okay? that's all the competitive advantage, okay? Don't be shy to say, to talk about your competitive advantage, right? Okay, so we go back to strategy, okay? Strategy Quality planning, what is, uh, you know, what, how the company compete, right? Strategic quality planning, they divide it into two. One is content, what if, one is process. Okay. So, um, you plan because you want to improve your company, right? So, quality improvement is, uh, you look for potential areas to improve. Okay. You plan the implementation of projects, whether you want to innovate, okay? I heard that Apple is coming out with new processor. Okay? So uh, you will expect that they will have, you know, maybe they, they will sell cheaper MacBook or cheaper uh, iMac now because they are coming out with a new processor, right? So they are always innovating, okay? Uh, what I read about was that they, uh, yeah, they, they have a new processor which not which not using Intel, 
if if that is true, I know it's just rumors. So that means they can sell the product cheaper, right? So look forward to it. Okay, so strategic content. Strategic content is like, like what I asked you. What is your competitive advantage? How do you want to compete? Right? The process is how do you want? The process, how do you reach there? Okay? Competitive, oh, sorry. Right. Okay, so we look at this. Content. So the content variables that should be included in strategic planning is time, leadership, quality costs, generic strategies, order winners, quality as a core competency. Okay. So we're going. To, I'm not going to go into detail because I expect you to read before this. Okay. So. Two aspects of time, the time it takes to achieve business goals as a result of quality and the speed at which companies improve. Okay? This is important in strategy. Right? So let's say um, you have, how long does it take for you to plan? Okay? <coughs> How long does it take for you? Okay, you know that you're going to, uh, you're going to be to reach, uh, a million sales in two thousand in twenty twenty one. Okay, that is your goals. Okay, that is your goals for maybe two thousand nineteen, right? So how long? What improvements did you do so that you can achieve this target, right? And then also, that is the time it takes to achieve business goal. That maybe you achieve it earlier. Maybe you achieve it in 2020, end of 2020, December, right? Or if you look at the speed in which the company improves. Okay. Okay, the importance of time and quality. When goals are set, one of the three things will occur. Okay. People will achieve the goals with positive result. That means you plan it uh, uh, properly. Okay, and so we will distort. Some people will just you know distort the data. They didn't or distort the system. Okay, they didn't do it properly. We also another as content that should be in a uh, strategy is leadership. Okay. You look at leadership. It's how a leader influence, right? How a leader influence a group to move to attain the goal, right? So you need good leaders, leader that can steer the ship, right? It, of course, in achieving the the goals, there will be challenges with maybe with resources, with the people, right? With the market with the customers. So there must be a leader, how to move forward, right? So this is the powers, form of shared power. This one you can read from your book. Okay. Trade dimensions, all is all in the book. Leader skills, you must know knowledge, communication, planning, and vision. You must have the knowledge. As a leader, to bring a company forward, knowledge is important. And also communication. Communication because if you don't communicate with the people above you or below you, right? Or to the right and left side, you cannot move forward. Okay? If you are, you know, you must make sure that the people below you want to do what you ask them to do. Okay? How you communicate with them. If they resist you, you cannot achieve your goal. Now you must have the coercive power. That means memujo. Want them to make sure that uh, you want to make sure that they do the job and they do it proudly. Okay? Of course, if you are happy in doing your job, then you will do it nicely. Right? But if you do, if you think that doing a job is just something terpaksa, 
then you just do it very, you know, you don't give your best. So, as a leader, you must bring out the best in your employee and you must be able to also communicate to the people above you, okay, to sell your ideas to them, right? You are selling your ideas to the, uh, uh, to the management, okay? And you must have planning and also vision. Of course, you must have good planning skills, you must have a vision to go forward, right? That's why you say that the late Steve Jobs is very, um, you know, he's very, what do you call, he has good vision. Everybody knows Steve Jobs, right? Yes, but the... Okay, right? Okay, how about the founder of Facebook? What's his name? Someone? Now Facebook is buying shares all over, right? Vision. Facebook buy WhatsApp. This Facebook bought WhatsApp, right? Facebook bought WhatsApp, so they can expand. See, a good leader, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, right? Right. Yeah. So you see, if you look at large organizations, you know, where do you want to go, right? You will look at the leader, right? So even like Steve Jobs, he died, but Apple is still moving forward because he, he have vision, right? They know where to go, okay? Okay, leadership dimensions, leader skills that of course of it, you know, you can read this, quality and ethics, okay? Of course, in achieving quality, you must have ethics, right? So you see, companies focusing on their customers often develop a set of ethics that includes valuing employees, right? Not only do you take care of customer, you also take care of your employees. Because if employees is happy, right? you will have good products which in turn leads to customer satisfaction. Okay. Okay, good quality management is good ethics and integrity gets down to honesty, right? We must be honest in producing our product. Okay, if we say that, um, especially those who are, you know, um, making food products, okay? If you say that, okay, you use pure butter, Right? Make sure that they use butter. You don't use margarine on your cakes. Right? It's cheating. It's not ethical. Okay? Okay, so there must be... Ethics must be a, a basis for your business. One of the content. Right? That should be included in your strategy. Okay. Another three strategies is cost differentiation and focus, right? Okay, when we talk about cost, okay, we talk about cost of quality, okay? Okay, do you remember who says quality is free? Which quality guru says quality is free? Anybody remember? Which quality guru says quality is free? Last class, only last class, we talk it, we talk about it on Wednesday. Philip B. Crosby. Yeah, Philip Crosby. He said quality is free. Right? Here, why? Because if you don't do things uh good the first time, there is a cost of quality, right? There's two types of cost. One is cost due to poor quality and another one is cost associated with improving quality. There's also a cost. Okay, let's say if your product is at level B, right? You want to make it go up to level A, right? So there must be an improvement. Maybe 
the cost is um, upgrading your machines, upgrading your machinery, using better products, or using a new packaging. Okay, that is all cost. Okay, so um, sorry, where is it? Okay, I want you to remember this, the PATH paradigm, okay? This is on cost, okay? PATH paradigms, because they say that cost, <coughs> cost, okay, in an, in a manufacturing or, okay, in manufacturing, they say there's three types of cost. Prevention cost, appraisal cost, and failure cost. What is prevention cost? See, you see the top here, it says cost of quality is cost due to poor quality, cost associated with improving quality. So prevention cost is where? The first one or the second one? Prevention cost. Prevention cost is it cost due to poor quality or prevention cost uh cost associated with improving quality? Right? Balki say second one. Yes. Okay, it is the second one. Prevention. That means prevention before there's something wrong with the product. You incur the cost, okay? Right, it could, that means you would have a check, okay? You check it, you do a quality check, or you do, uh, sorry, not check, you, you do maintenance, your machine, maintenance of machine. You upgrade the skills of your workers, okay? That is prevention, that means if they have skill, that means they won't develop uh, produce bad products. Skills, that means if you upgrade your machine, you must have uh, the worker who is capable of handling the machine. If you uh, buy a new machine and you expect to improve the quality, okay, that's good, you invest on that. But what about the workers? The workers who's going to use the machine. If you don't teach them training, there's no training course for them, Right? Then, how, are you, how do you expect them to, to what do you call, to use the machine to, 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 pro, to produce your product? You cannot say, oh, you just figure it out. No, you cannot do that. Because in operations, one day of uh, producing bad product, it costs you thousands of dollars. Right? So, let, usually, a uh, company, they will give training. Right? people who is going to if you upgrade your equipment that means you have to um, give them a learning curve that means you teach them right so appraisal cost appraisal cost is considered as improving or poor quality appraisal cost what Zulaika, you want to answer? Appraisal cost is cost due to poor quality or cost associated with improving quality. Zulaika, are you there? Oh, yes, madam. Yeah. Uh, quality control cost. Improving or poor? Uh, improving. Improving, okay. So, failure cost is, of course, is due to poor quality, okay? So, we look at prevention costs. The cost of setting up planning, okay? The quality planning, establishing production process, okay? All this you can read. 
calibration of quality related production equipment that means you calibrate you what you call um you reset okay supplier quality assurance supplier assessment training okay time spent on what can see quality system audits okay all these are prevention that means you prevent before poor quality can happen okay Okay, appraisal costs, okay, laboratory acceptance testing, inspection, okay, tests, on-site performance tests, internal tests, evaluation of materials and spares, okay, evaluate the materials that you're going to use, this is of good quality, right, even the spare parts, right, okay, then we look at failure costs. Cost of troubleshooting, okay? Re-inspection of stocks, disruption of production schedules, complaint and replacement plus extra time with customer, cost of holding higher levels of stocks, cost of corrective maintenance, cost of correction action to, pro to product. Okay, I want you to bear this in mind. Appraisal costs, and uh, lupa pula. appraisal cost and prevention costs are cost that is occurred before the product reach the customer. Okay, please bear this in mind. Okay, so the cost is within within the factory, right? It has not the product has not reached the customer yet, so. Failure cost is when cost of troubleshooting. That means or uh, before it reach the customer or before the product is ready. That means from raw materials that you might say that means you can still provide key, right? Once it comes out as a product or once it comes out, you know, it's ready to sell, then uh, you do the re-inspection of stocks, right? But once you found out it's defect, then you have to do re-inspection of stocks. Okay? Then you have to stop production. Okay? You must stop because you then once the product come out, okay, from the machine, come out, it doesn't make the spec. Like you say, you make a screw, right? Screw, and then there's a, the hole, the, the bevel, of, I can't remember that. Then the screw cannot go inside the hole. So you have to stop all production. You don't want to lose more. So that is cost, right? Complaint handling. If the product already reached the customer, that's also cost, right? Because of course the customer complain. One, you will have a bad name. Two, you will have to refund the customer. Three, you lose the customer. See, all that is considered cost, right? So, complaint handling, warranty, taking care not to duplicate the previous item, cost of holding higher levels of stocks as a buffer against quality failure. Okay? If you are an operations uh, student, you know that holding, keeping stocks is also cost. Keeping stocks as inventory is also cost. Right? So, you are afraid that you might make a mistake on the, the, the batch, so you create more, simpan. That is, we don't want that, right? For operation, we use just in time. We use lean manufacturing, right? So we don't want to keep that much stock because that is cost. See, cost of corrective maintenance. Okay, actually, let's say all machines, they will have maintenance time that means within uh two years you have you must maintain you must do a maintenance check so like some companies they want to you know they want to extend the life tak apalah, still can use so they after two years they don't do any maintenance then the output is faulty products that is more cost than if they do the regular maintenance check right Cost of corrective action to product, redesign. Let's say if product to dah keluar, maybe you want to repair. You don't want to make the whole thing, you have to repair. That is also cost, okay? 
that is considered as failure cost. Okay, loss production. Banyak failure cost ni you should see. Because of labor availability problem, okay. Uh, loss production because of system problem, right. Concessions, design engineering time, process waste, which com common, commonly regarded as unavoidable. Cost of product scrap to pro at product audit, cost associated with disposition of all scrap. Even scrap is cost. Kan, yang salah kecil-kecil itu -kecil is all cost. Once you throw something, it's cost. Okay? So, example. Maculosa's manufacturing company has gathered the following related costs. You are hired as a consultant to evaluate this cost and to make and to make recommendation to management. Complete or clear? I don't want you to I don't think I want to we go into calculations here. So, ah, going to do this here. Okay. Right. This is your one of your gurus. Remember Juran? Yeah, he developed, he with Lanville, he developed the quality cost model. See? It's, this is, oops. It's very interesting. Look at this here. This is cost. This is what? Conformance ratio. Okay. So you look, according to Lanvel Duran, he used the law of diminishing marginal returns. Okay. Quality cost can be modeled to show the trade offs between these costs. Okay. So here, costs will go down. As costs go down, so as you do prevention and appraisal costs, failure costs will go down, right? Okay, it keeps going down if you do prevention until here, until the conformance ratio at Q, right? Okay, so if you go above this point, You go above this point, even though you increase your prevention and appraisal cost, failure cost will what? What happened? What happened to the failure cost? Even if pre sorry, sorry, you even it goes down if failure cost goes down, the prevention cost and appraisal cost goes up. So it's not worth it. You can only do up to this point after Q. Okay? This is a very famous exam question where they ask you to draw the lanville Juron quality cost model. It shows you. Okay? This is the optimum, C1 plus C2. Okay? So it, you come up with this, the top one. Minimum here. Okay. okay. This is a very, I don't know, lecturers like to ask this question. Okay. You, you will read the book so you understand more, okay? So quality as a strategy, differentiation through quality. Focus, true quality, and order winners, right? Did we talk about order winners, right? Did I talk about order winners in this class? Do you know it's order winners? Anybody? Okay, I'm sorry, I cannot see your chat. What is order winners? Your differentiation through quality, you know, like Apple, you focus on true quality. And what is order winners? What is this term order winners means? Okay. 
Competitive advantage, no? Demand, no? What is order winners? Actually, for this, I don't know why this... Um, I like to go in deep into this. Okay, but... Hmm, what time is it now? Probably. Okay, um, anybody wants to try? Enable a product to win and order in a marketplace. Okay, very close. Okay, actually product is divided into a few. Okay, win the bid customer's purchase. Is the Leica, yeah. That means what makes the customer buy your product? That is order winners. Okay. If you, I, I, uh, this book, I don't know whether they, they, what they call, they didn't focus on order winners, order qualifiers or whatever. Okay, there's two things, order qualifier and order winners. Okay, actually there's, a, there's a, another model which, which shows dissatisfiers, satisfiers, uh, and then order uh, the winners. Okay, so order winners, as your friend say, what? What makes the customer buy? Okay, let's say you're holding two phones, um, Oppo and Samsung. Okay, maybe they have all the same features. What makes you buy Samsung? What is the order winner in Samsung that you buy instead of you buying Oppo? Right, there's order winners. Order qualifiers is something is a must have. Okay, it's a must have. If you want to buy jacket, right, a winter jacket, one thing it must be warm enough, right, and then uh, it must be uh, what do you call. Um, quite light. You don't want it to be that heavy. Okay, easy to put on. Right? So that is basic. That is order qualifiers. Right? It must be thick. Because it's, it's a winter jacket. Right? Okay, to make it simply, let's say, to relate to you, 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 let's say buying a phone. Basic. Basic of a phone is what? What is the basic? Order qualifier if you want to buy a phone. Anybody? They should they should put under order winners is order qualifiers. What is okay? What is the uh? I told you that order qualifier is the basic that you want in a phone. Okay. What is the basic? Anybody can answer? Okay, somebody say big capacity. Lagi? Can call, of course. A phone must be able to call. If not, it's not worth it. Camera. Long-lasting battery. RAM. Storage. And then you want the perfect processor to be fast. Right? What else? That is what? Basic. That means they are the order qualifiers. That means if you don't have these features, you won't look at that phone. Right? So, order winners, something extra. Like as a strategy. See, you do, you do order winners as a strategy. What is the extra that another phone doesn't have? Right? 
Now what? Samsung is what? Samsung is uh, having the the clip phones. Is it clip phones? The the phone that you can fold, right? Previously, of course, there's phone that uh, the normal phones that you can fold. Now a smartphone that you can fold. Okay, it's very it's interesting, right? So that is the maybe for Samsung the model for Samsung that is the order winners. Like for me, if they introduce me to that, I find it very interesting, and I will buy it. Right? Some people maybe uh, like um, some people love Apple so much. Apple Apple user, right? Whenever there's a new model, they will go. They will change their phone, right? Even though they are students, <laughs> okay. And like, okay, how about? Let's say a uh, new trend of company. Um, what do you always change? What is the things that for students, I mean, you don't mind to change all the time based on the order winners? Can any of you give me an answer? I, I don't know what, what you always change. Anybody? Something that you don't mind to change. Do you do you change service providers often? From Unify to apa nama lagi? Celcom to Maxis. Do you do that? Because they always have some new offers. No. <laughs> some of you say no, right? Some say yes. Because they have these good offers, right? They give you more internet, more surfing, more, more, I don't know, whatever, right? Yeah, SIM card, you keep on changing SIM card. Sometimes I cannot keep track of phone numbers, right? People keep changing, right? This is the order winners, okay? And, um... One strategy is quality as core competency. Okay, something like if you go to a to a two dollar shop, quality is not their strategy, right? You know that if you buy their brooms or if you buy their pen or what, you know that you can use it, right? But you don't expect it to last a year or more, right? You know, you know, quality is not their core competency. Okay, okay. This is Hill Strategy Framework. You can look at this. Okay. You please read it, this by yourself. Okay. This is strategy. Okay. This is process, right? The basic uh, strategy formulation is first choice model. Okay organization's position, environment assessment. Okay. So first is you state your mission. Okay, you must have a mission. And then interrelated set of financial and non-financial objectives. What do you do? What do you want to have? What do you want to achieve? Statement of strength and weaknesses. You focus on operational needs and major future programs. Okay. Then you have the broad economic assumptions. What is around you? What is in the market? Right? Key government and regulatory issues. The strategy that you want to, to, uh, to achieve, does it have anything that is not in line with the government regulatory? Okay. And you look at major technological forces. Is it in line with the technology? Do you need the technology? Okay. Is, or is your competitors using technology to achieve that goal? Okay. Then look at significant market opportunities and threats. Okay. So right now, people who are having uh, what we call uh, uh, formulating strategies, they will have problems because of the COVID. A lot of things cannot be done. Right. So there's threats, threats in the market. Right? 
And then explicit strategies of competitors. You also look, okay, on this side, you look at your environment. This is, you look at your organization, your strength, your weakness. What do you have extra? Okay. And then you come up with the strategic options. The requirement for implementing options contingency plan. Okay, now we are facing with COVID. What is your contingency plan? How you want to make sure that you can still market your products? Right? How you can still um, make sure that you don't have a close down of your factory? Is there any plan? Okay? How can you push your product to the market? in uh, what we call um, in this situation where everybody cannot go out or limited people are scared to go out to buy stuff, right? Do you want to, uh, do you want to develop what you call like Amazon? They only, they don't have an office. They only do online. Do you want to venture into that? Okay. If, uh, if you look at the, if you look at uh, other countries, right, okay, let's say in the United States, they even, they are like, like CIMA and all, they will have a uh, online, online platform. Okay, they will have online platform. You can buy online. You do, even though they have a physical shop, they will have an online platform where customer can buy online, can look for offers. Okay. Much um, like Amazon, no, Amazon, they are solely online. They operate solely online. They don't have, uh, they don't have of uh, physical, physical shops. Hmm? So this is the first, the basic uh, first choice model, how you want to develop your strategy process. Okay. Okay, 502, right. So we look at Honshin Kanri. It's another, um, it's a Japanese way how to develop a, what you call a plan, okay, a strategic plan. So deploying quality, Honshin Kanri, okay. Honshin is Japanese for a compass, a course, a policy or a plan. Kanri is management control, okay. That means you control where your company is going. Okay. The company develops a three to five years plan. Okay, maybe oh, sorry, I forgot to mention strategy. It takes more than one year, so it takes maybe three. So for uh, for Honshin Kari, it's three to five years. Sometimes even company um they do up to ten years. Okay, a ten year plan. They have a three year plan, five year plan, ten year plan. Okay. So, for Honshin Kanri, the senior executives develop the current objectives. Okay. They use the basic seven tools of quality, will, which we will learn later. The new tools of quality and the quality function deployment. Okay. All these are tools of quality, okay. which we will uh, learn. Okay. Okay. Can you see this? Okay, these are the, I can see, these are the, you know, mature strategic process planning. We have the mission, step one, it, it, it goes straight. This is the normal mature strategic planning process. So, Oh, they didn't show you. Okay, sorry. Okay. I, this slide is not really that good. Let me show you this. Okay, this is the my own slide. Can you see the slide? If you want this, I can share with you.
This is uh, much more detail. Actually, this slide is much more detail. Okay. Okay. Right. It's much more detail. If actually you have a better um cannot see that well, okay? Right. If you look at your book, if you look at your book on page um, one to one to one, you have a good uh, diagram of Honshin planning. Okay, this is the one. Let me see. This is in the book. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, take a look at this. Right. Um, those who have the book, I think Balkis, can you snapshot and show it to your friends? Can you snap snapshot? Right. So um for Honshin methods, okay, you develop a three to five year Honshin goals, and then the senior management develops a one year Honshin goal. So it goes back down, right? It goes back down. And it's called a catch ball. It's called a catch ball effect. Okay. So um, they will see whether it's visible, then it goes back up. Okay. So you review. See? Okay. Reviewed. So, and then you, the senior management action plans, product management action plan, reviewed by senior management. Okay, never mind. Uh, once you got the book, I will, I will, what do you call, explain this more. Because this is, uh, this is a very good way of how you uh, do a quality process, okay? So once you got the book, then we do it in the next class. Right? Okay. Okay, right. Catch ball, yeah, sorry, you can see the catch ball. Okay, we'll do it in the next class. Okay, does quality lead to a better business? What do you think? Does quality lead to a better business? Anybody? Do you think... If you have a very, very, very good quality, so most of you say yes. Many variables affect profitability besides quality. Right? What happened like if you... Okay, I just to ask you a personal question, right? If your funds are limited, right? If your funds are limited, would you buy a product that is of very good quality? That means you don't have that much money. No? One of you say no? Lorin, why? Lorin Akasha. Why do you say no? Even Muhammad Firdaus say no. Even though the product is good for you. Cost more cost. Right? So this, what happened, like they say, if you don't have much, if you don't have that much money, there would be what? Personally, there would be a trade-off. Okay? Sometimes if you want to buy something, you have a trade-off. Okay? This is good quality, but my money is this. So that means, oh, I must, must buy something else. That means there's a trade-off. That means you can uh, buy certain features of the things that you want, right? It, there is a trade-off, 
Yeah? Like that's why some, uh, that's why we have $2 shops. Yeah. There are people, right? They have everything, but you don't expect them to. This is their strategy. Yeah, they don't use quality as their strategy, but it's a strategy. Right? They serve the the lower market. Not only lower, even kadang-kadang orang yang ada duit pun they go to the dollar shop because there's everything. Yeah? So it's a strategy where you want to go. Okay? Okay. Okay, you can read this. Supply chain strategy. Okay. Logistics, see? Okay. So if you do a supply chain strategy, if you do, it decides to implement quality, that means the whole line, right? you will have to implement quality. Sama je. Okay? See? So let's say, if you say that you want to produce a product, uh, the quality is uh, 80% or 75%. This must be translated to all your suppliers. Okay? You cannot use suppliers that can... Uh, supply you with resources that can that can only allow you to produce fifty percent quality products. Yes? So the whole chain, the whole supply chain must understand this. Okay, if you want to implement uh, supply chain strategic planning, right? Everybody, not only your company, your supplier must play also, must also play. Okay. So you read this. Even logistics, right? Make sure that they can reach the product. You, they can reach you at, at the right time. Because you want to you want if you if later on we will learn about uh lean manufacturing or GIT just in time. You must make sure that the product comes at the right time, not later. If it comes later, it will create costs. Right, if it comes early, it will also be cost to you because of uh, there will be cost of upper stock, stock upper keeping stocks. You see, this is all important. Okay, okay, all this you must make decisions, right? How do we link with our supplier? Do we source globally? Okay, so you can read. Okay. See, this is all about supply chain from 30 to 36. Okay, you can read that. More explanation will be in your book. Okay. Right. Any question? Any question? Come on, people. No, John. No? No. Okay. Right. Um what is what is the chapter for the next class? Anybody knows? Voice of the customer. Okay, so as an activity, right, before the next class, can you, um, can, can, uh, I think as a group, because as individual, it will be quite uh, a lot, can you find one company, okay, you find one company and see what is their strategy. What strategy do they use to compete? Okay, what strategy do they do is to compete? If you can find uh, their, what do you call, um, the cost that they use, that's good. If not, you look at what strategy 
do they use and what are the trade-offs? Trade-offs macam we talk about just now. Kita kena um, trade-offs. What is trade-offs? What is trade-offs in, in, in Bahasa in BM? I'm sorry because I learned it in English, not translate to... Oh yeah. <laughs> what is trade-offs? No. Anybody can help me? What is trade-offs? If you don't understand, you will, won't be able to do the activity. Trade-offs is what? Sapa? Yes? What is it? Berniaga. Berniaga. No, 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 no. Trade-offs is not berniaga. Trade-offs is something that you have to give up. Okay? Okay, let's say for example me. I want to use an iPhone, but it's so expensive. So I buy... Sorry? Gadai. 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 Ah, cost lepas. You know, cost lepas. Something that you have to make do. Apa? Oh, God. I, I, I forgot the word. Trade off. Ah. Something that you can give up. Macam exchange. Macam pertukaran. Macam tu. Right? I want somebody want okay, I want to buy an iPhone. I tak boleh. Tak ada duit. I buy an Oppo. So I got to give up some things because of uh, financial financial apa ni constraint. I don't know whether it's cost lepas. Caga. It's not caga. So you find out. Pajak. Ah, huh? pajak. No, it's not pajak. It's not pajak. Trade offs. Alamak. Macam mana eh? Trade offs. Okay, let's say ah, uh, macam pertukaran. Oh no, pertukaran. Uh, macam pertukaran. Let's say ah, uh, okay um, you want to develop apa? You, you want to develop macam um, uh, uh, okay. Macam mana nak cakap? Want to? I want you to find trade offs, Holland. The trade-offs of the company. Apa eh nak cakap? Um, something that you have to give up. Okay. Actually, you want a phone yang yang very good, uh, very good camera semua. Right? Tapi, um, some of the features tu tak ada. Okay. Let's say you have a phone with uh, seven cameras, let's say, let's say, there's uh, seven cameras, tapi they don't have uh, something called, you also want facial recognition. So, you decide, okay, what is the trade-offs? So, so, you cannot have a phone with seven cameras, that means you can't really make gambar yang so nice, but to you, facial recognition is important because of security. Ah, uh, that is straight offs. Understand? Faham tak? Boleh faham tak? You have to give up something. Uh, you want to have to give up something to get another thing. Okay? Macam sekarang lah, you, I know that all of you want to come to UUM, but you have to make, to study. Tapi you have to, nak study juga, but you must study at home. You have to give up the freedom of staying in UUM without your parents. <laughs> uh, because for your health, you are, uh, you are, apa? you are constrained because you not juggle health you. So that's why you tak boleh come to UUM to study physically with the lecturers. Uh, macam you kena, itulah, you kena, macam mana cakap eh? Okay, macam ni lah, kalau you nak kahwin. Okay, senang. You nak kahwin, ada satu jejaka yang handsome sangat. Okay, handsome sangat. And then, apa nama dia? Uh, kaya sangat. Tapi, ada satu ni um, taklah berapa kaya. Handsome okey lah, sedap dipandang, boleh lah. Tapi, dia ni ni macam um, baik. Orangnya sangat baik. 
Hmm. Yang handsome ni of course lah. I, I'm not saying anybody, okay? Yang handsome ni let's say dia um, apa nama dia? Dia uh, macam of course lah dia minati ramai kan? I want to see playboy. Dia minati ramai. So, it's a trade off. You as a person, okay? Let's say dua-dua minat kat you ni. Right? Worth of this person like you. Okay. You nak pilih yang mana? Okay. Let's say yang 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 baik ni dia, no, the one is a, a nice person. Sometimes you meet a very nice person. But they don't have the the face kan. Macam opah-opah tu tak adalah kan. So, they, uh, they uh, uh, biasa je. Yang ni ni memang handsome lah. For sure dia gila handsome. Right? So, trade offs apa apa yang you nak lepaskan let's say you nak i, I don't know you nak orang yang baik right orang yang uh, sangat memahami okay and then the other one is oh memanglah kaya memanglah memanglah tapi you tahu dia memang tak setia kurang setia so trade offs ni dua benda yang you kena pilih right So, depends on you, you nak pilih yang mana. <laughs> okay? Oh, somebody write something. Tarik ulur keuntungan dan kerugian. So, that means you kena... Not, not say beralah kadar tak eh. Um, we find out the word. Nanti bila saya... I, I, I ask lecturers what is straight off means, then I will tell you. Tapi, that is your for Wednesday. You find as a group, one company... On trade offs, let's say macam yang yang I kata two dollar shops tu trade off tu dia trade off quality. Dia tak kisah dia buat aja produk as long as they can sell. Yeah, I pernah beli because I like the apa chips yang piece kan kacang hijau tu piece because I malas nak masuk simat so we go to the shop. I go memang itulah I bought. Tapi balik rumah tengok semua lemah, right? We cannot eat. So, they, they don't care because, you know, people will come, especially budak-budak will come. Okay? So, what are the trade-offs? Huh? So, apa somebody right here, um, usaha untuk meningkatkan kualiti atau aspek sesuatu dengan mengurangkan kualiti atau aspek, yes. Aspek dari sesuatu yang lain. Okay? Trade-offs. Trade-offs pun satu strategi. It's a strategy. Okay? Macam Apple, right? Dia tak kira, dia trade off, dia tak kira. Orang tak nak beli pun tak apa. But they trade off on good quality, high price. You see, the price is very expensive. Kan? Okay? I want to be and buy an iMac yang bagus lah, yang specs dia punya penuh is more than 10,000. iMac is a is a desktop. Apple product. Because I like to use Apple. It costs 10,000 although I like it but I cannot buy it. Because banyak benda constraint, banyak benda lain nak beli kan? So, it's like that. So, macam, okay. Um, what other companies? Um, macam MyDain. Right? MyDain, barang dia not really of good quality. Tapi it's cheap. It can serve the purpose. But you, you must know. But certain company macam MyDain, they have... Uh, a lot of stores all over Malaysia, right? They have a lot of stores. So, they can have their own um, their own uh, factory to produce. That's so why they can produce produce cheap and they can sell cheaper than tempat lain, okay? And that kind of things, okay? Take a look, one company you study, tengok, what, what is their strategy? And do they have any trade-offs? Okay, then we will discuss on uh, on Wednesday. Right? Okay, if there's no question, uh, I will end this class today. Kita postpone until Wednesday. So, you can... Where's the scan? I think I did this. Hold on, okay?